Sri Swami Satyananda says, if you want to see the silver lining in the horizon of human evolution, it is the children who need to be spiritualized. It's not you and me. The kind of education that we are providing now would definitely give them a good job. Would teach them how to survive. But I'm asking you a question. Would it teach them how to live? Would it help them discover the potential that's hidden in them? We need the kind of education that would help children to know themselves, know their weakness, know their strengths. And they should be given tools, practices and methods with which they can alter, change what they feel is inappropriate. I mean, the parent is not going to be like a barber going on cutting and pruning the personality. The child should have the ability to work upon themselves. And it's very important that such an education is inculcated in a natural way. Like if you bring a, you know, a child to a teacher or a yoga studio and listen to a third person, it's good, but you know, at least that is there. But if you yourself are able to be the catalyst for your child's learning, that to such a powerful self-transforming wisdom, nothing like it. In fact, that is why we have created this video in which you can join with the instructor and see how he is doing. Hear the instructions and do the practice. And every day, if you are able to give 10 minutes time, that becomes the greatest role model for your child. And if your child is less than 8, and if your child sees you practicing yoga every day, in all probability, your child is going to realize that it's important to do yoga. And yoga is a beautiful tradition. It belongs to the whole world. It doesn't belong to any particular religion or a particular country. It is the birthright of every human being. And it is the responsibility of adults like you and me to bring yoga to the forefront and make children have an enjoyable experience of yoga. And the great advantage is you can help children grow up in a healthy manner, not only physically. In yoga, the age eight, it's called as Garbhashtakam, is very important. That is the time of transition. And science will agree that the pineal degeneration begins at the age of eight. And it spans over a period of four years or five years. And by the time it's fully calcified, then the pituitary function comes to the forefront. And uh, the child starts feeling that he or she is an individual. That is when they will start telling you that they know what to do. That is when they will tell you, you don't have to tell them what to wear or what to eat. Before they start telling you that, if you have introduced yoga, you have done the best thing to your child. 
and if they practice at that age the calcification of the pineal body can be delayed and the later the onset of puberty the state of expanded awareness the natural state of intuition the natural state of spontaneity that a child has is stunted and handicapped much later so it's very important that parents all over the world realize the time which is of essence and introduce yoga as a natural ingredient of their family and in this video you are seeing the simplest practices that you can just see from the video and practice and your children will definitely join with you we wish you all the best